Oh, yeah. It's nice. It's um, no, it's not huge. It looked bigger in the photo, but uh, that was 80 baht. So I asked for a piece of toast. Don't think I'm getting any, but never mind. Huh? It's too sweet for me. Oh, well. This is the main town of Sukhothai. Plenty to eat across here. Yeah. Cross over the road. Yeah. Get something to eat along here. It's nice little cafes and things and whatnot. Yeah, really good. The te main temples are over here. All right, we're going to go there now. We had some breakfast there at. Whatever that was. Okay, you got lots to choose from along here. Who hey, knows? Nice. We'll jump in the car and go across the road and get out all the equipment and do a vlog. <laughs> it's quite a quaint little town here. It's got a nice atmosphere about it. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And hit the bell button if you want to be notified of any new ones. And there's plenty of more of these movies where this one come from. Okay, back to the video. Okay, yeah, we're just at the pie. <clears throat> this is the entrance here. It's um, we've paid the money to go in. Uh, we're going to get this tuk tuk. Here. It's an electric one. Okay, electric tuk tuk for two hundred baht an hour. Okay, there it is. There. Nice, huh? Okay, let's go. <coughs> oh shit! Oh. You can hire bikes that are about 30 baht. Cost you 10 baht to take them in. I don't know why they do that. Hire a bike so you can look around the park and pay 10 baht to take the bike in. You get these little things here. That's nice, huh? Uh, 200 baht an hour. If you want. Pretty jazzy, huh? Anyway. Yeah. Electric tuk tuk. It sounds like it's got asthma. Nice, huh? Look at that. It's, um, <clears throat> it's probably the, I think it's the best one of a lot. I've been to, um, Utia. I think this one's a little bit better. I mean, Utia's fantastic. Ah, I suppose you couldn't really compare them. It's, you know, it's, um, different. Something like that, anyway. Ten twenty. Ten twenty. Yes. That's You go park in the shade so you don't get hot, okay? I actually like this place, it's uh, quite good. What Mahathat? The remains of the 13th to 14th century royal capital city of Sukhothai. This is the main Sukhothai temple, one of the most amazing archaeological sites I've ever seen in Asia. It really is an amazing place. Just getting all crazy picture taking frenzy when you're here. Really a lot of fantastic photos you can take right through the whole park. But this is the main piece here. This is where it was all happening in Sukhothai. Yep, this used to be the capital of Thailand, or Siam, they used to call it. Sukhothai's translation means rising happiness. We're in this historical park at the moment, Sukhothai Historical Park. It's been partially restored, it's from the 13th and 14th century. It's got the palace of the king of Siam, first capital of Thailand. This classical Sukhothai style of architecture has left Thailand a legacy of, well, Thailand's legacy. 
The king kingdom flourished in the 13th and 14th century. This is period often viewed as the golden age of the Thai civilization. Yeah, that's all the that remains of it. It's been restored. It's about 45 square kilometers partly restored ruins. It's one of the most visited ancient sites in Thailand. Up these stairs. <clears throat> now, is that for a Buddha statue in very good condition? I don't know if that's an original one, but I'd say it would be. Yeah. I would say this whole structure used to have a. Um, roof right over the top of the whole thing. That's, that's why all the columns everywhere I would imagine. I, don't, I really don't know. I don't think anybody knows. It's huge around here. Some of the um, buildings are absolutely breathtaking. This, uh, this certainly is a once in a lifetime experience. You had to take about three to four hours, maybe in five hours to look at this whole thing here. This is this one section here. This is uh, truly spectacular. Have a look at this for a view. Unbelievable. Must have been amazing all those years ago. Talk about step back in time, this is fantastic. Hmm. The gardens and the greenery, the, the lawns, the ponds, whatever, um, they've been maintained fantastic. It really looks nice around here. Really looks good. Very peaceful. Not many places in the world where you can walk around an ancient capital city like this. I don't know how much longer we'll have the freedom to walk around these sites like this, but uh, let's enjoy it while we've still got it. The amount of visitors coming to this site has got to take its toll on the um, actual site, so... So I don't know what the future holds for the tourist. Oh, i tell you what, it's bad in the hot weather. I have been in here in the hot weather, it's not too bad, I suppose. But today it's going to get really hot, so we're here pretty early. <laughs> there you go. That's probably the main temple. Oh, temple ruins, sorry, I keep saying temple. Yeah. First capital of Thailand. Capital city. You've got to plan at least three to five hours when you're um, visiting here, it would be better. I tell you what, this site is absolutely huge and it can be uh, swelteringly hot sometimes. So uh, bring lots of water with you to uh, keep yourself hydrated. I mean, there's little shops um, here and there. They sell drinks. You can um, you come across them every now and then, so you're not going to die. But yeah, it can get very hot here. It's very hard to get around. It's such a huge site, I was just saying before. Very, very big. There's lots and lots and lots to see. There's lots and lots of hot weather waiting for you. Whoa, it's hot. I found it a brilliant place to explore. But you can explore the place on a bush bike. It's quite easy to get around. And this central zone here where we are now is probably the most interesting of all. I mean, the whole thing's good, but this this is the most interesting. So as time goes on, um, you know, more and more tourists are starting to arrive, getting out of bed and heading here. But, uh, early morning's away to go. Oh, looks like an entertaining little child. Dad's quite proud, look at him. Mm. Oh, there's a big standing Buddha up further, we'll go and have a look at that. Uh, wow, this thing is really big. Yeah. Look at over the way they've maintained the gardens, it's fantastic. Oh, look at that, isn't that fantastic? Nice view, don't you think? Apparently there are 193 ruins on 70 square kilometers of land in Sukhothai. So there's lots to see. The uh, park's maintained by the Fine Arts Department of Thailand with help from UNESCO, which has declared it a World Heritage Site. It's quite easy to tour around here using a bike. It's very, very easy. 
I did last time, not this time though. We're only staying here for a day. Just love the work in these buildings. Look, look at these statues along the bottom here. Fantastic. Just work, just so much work. Must have been absolutely brilliant in its days. <laughs> Freestanding water. Yeah. Looks good. More of the ruins. In very good condition. Look at that. There's thousands of these right around the building. And little Buddhas. Yeah, I keep saying it must have been magnificent in its days. Don't climb! That's for the Chinese tourists, I think. Chinese tourists like to climb and take selfies. I've seen this happen so many times. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what all this is, but... Yeah. Never mind. Hmm. Look at that. We can really spend a lot of time here just sitting and looking. Be nice. Hmm. Like that used to have a roof on it. <clears throat> There's a lotus pond. Sukhothai Historical Park. Very well maintained, I think. I don't know, I really don't know how much of it they've um, restored. I've looked on Google uh, before. There's not, not much information at all. Of, uh, but, uh, geez, it looks wonderful the way it is now. I wonder if there's any secret rooms in there. They've uh, restored it. I, I really don't know. I might look up the history of the place. Not much, uh, you go on Google and stuff, you don't get much, um, they don't tell you much of the history of the place. Some nice shots of some lotus coming up. Lotus Lake. Now, is that very nice? How's that, eh? Nice. Mm. Not many tourists here yet. I, I suppose I don't know about later on. I'll probably get attacked by them. Yeah. Isn't that beautiful? Love Sukhothai. It's my favourite. I think it's even better than Angkor Wat in Cambodia. How's that grab you? Yeah. Oh, look, it's got the Khmer influence, but uh, it's got that. Thai, what would you call it? Thai uh, signature about it. Yeah. Start of the Thai culture. Yeah. No. <laughs> Something like that.
Look at that, that's quite nice. Yeah. Looks great. I hope they spend money to restore all this. Well, as much as possible, I suppose. There you go. There's a Buddha for you. Nice, huh? Yeah. Oh, well, this is zone one, okay? There's zone one, two, and three. We're in zone one at the moment. We're going to have a look at the rest of zone one. We're only going to do zone one today. Look at that for a few. Fantastic, I think. Really good. You can see why it's one of my favourite spots. I love it here. It's fantastic. So much to see and do in Sukhothai. If it was a bit cooler, I'd probably spend the whole day here. It's a little bit hot. Yeah, you wouldn't think you were uh, four hours from Bangkok, but you are. Uh, it's a great, great sight around here. I think this is better than um, Utia. <clears throat> Utia is about an hour and a half from Bangkok. Spend the extra time and come up here. Well, I mean, the accommodation is cheap as hell here. Yeah, it's about six or seven hundred baht a night for a really nice hotel. Um, there's many ways to get to Sukhothai. Um, you can buy a bus, shuttle bus, small shuttle buses, big buses. You can go. To, you can catch a plane to a place called uh, Pits and a Look and get a bus the rest of the way. You can get yourself a taxi. I mean, they're not that overly expensive to get here. There's many ways to get here, so it's uh, you know uh, the airfares I believe are about a thousand baht, so that's not too bad, I guess. I want to give you all a huge thanks for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and a like. And click on the bell notification for any new videos we release. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below. I'll do my very best to answer each and every one. There are links for Patreon and PayPal if you would like to support us in making videos. Any help would be most appreciated. I'll see you in part two of Sukhothai. Until then, bye now.